How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K23 Mind Baby Building Challenge. So we're doing another what if scenario here. So what if the top 10 European players were on the same team? We're, just, we're actually not really a what if scenario. It's more of a can they go 82 and 0? So yeah, the top 10 players based on overall, where they're from. So not just if they were born in Europe, it has to literally be like they're out of Europe, like a country in Europe. So you know, if they're from Europe, but they went to school in the U.S., I'm not counting it. So that's <clears throat> my basis there for how I made this top uh, top 10 based on overall and where 2K says they are from. So if they're actually re like legitimately international or if they went to school like in the States, you know, that doesn't count. They have to literally be from a specific country or they have to have come from a country, right? So I'm going to show you guys the roster. Before we do, like, subscribe, comment down below some more videos, socials, playlists, second channel, main channel, download description as well. If you like other content, be TJP. With that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. So here we are. Let me show you guys the roster. So yeah, like I said, it's the top 10 players, as you can see, from countries in Europe, right? Greece is in Europe. Last I checked, right? So Giannis Antetokounmpo is on the team. Then we got Luka Doncic, Slovenia. Last I checked, it's in Europe. So he's on the squad. We've also got a Nikola Jokic from Serbia. Last I checked, that's in Europe. Latvia for Kristaps Porzingis, right? France, Rudy Gobert. Bo Bohan Bogdanovic, Croatia. Yusuf Nurkic, Bosnia. Jonas Valanciunas, Lithuania. Klin Capella, Switzerland. Alfred Sengun, Turkey. Turkey is theoretically, right? If we look up Turkey, it is one of those countries that you could theoretically say is in both continents because it is europe and asia it's a transcontinental country right like russia russia's in europe and asia so that does count <clears throat> and finally i think that was our last player so there you go those are our top 10 players can they go 82 and 0 let's find out my guess is they won't but you never know i put them on the spurs because spurs uh, yeah, Roman Langford not getting minutes. So I gotta make sure we adjust these rotations. So I'll probably do something like this, this, uh, and then Porzingis at the four, Gobert, then we'll give Valanciunas, Capella, Nurkic, Singoon's gonna get minutes, and yeah, I'll adjust these minutes to be more appropriate. So something like that, maybe. We'll give Jonas Valanciunas 19. It's gonna be a lot of big men, as you can see. You 34, 30 to Porzingis. 35 to Giannis, 25 to Bogdanovich. Um, is there a way I can give maybe Luka more minutes? Because it's Luka freaking Doncic. I got to get him more minutes. Yeah, we'll give him. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll give Luka 35. So yeah, 25 to Bogdanovich. I like that a lot. Jokic getting 34. We'll give 29 to Porzingis. We'll give 35 to Jokic. So our best three players are getting 35 minutes a game now. I don't think this team, like I said, is going to go 82 now. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. Will this team win at least win a championship? I don't know that either. I actually don't know the answer to that question. We have a lot of centers. So we shall see. Here's just his efficiency defense. Uh, surely something else is better here. Uh, more... We can go grit and grind. We could do grit and grind. That might actually be okay. We're not going to run a triangle. I don't think... Actually, triangle would be really efficient. Let's actually run triangle. We're going to run triangle. Co Co Greg Popovich is running triangle here, ladies and gentlemen. First game of the season, we do get a W. <clears throat> Luka Doncic a triple-double. Jokic, Porzingis, Antetokounmpo was pretty solid. So there you go. We're off to a good start. 1-0. I don't know how many games we're going to win before we lose. But there you go. We lost two straight. <laughs> and just like that, this team is not going to go 82-0. And, and in fact... We are currently 1-2 and two right now. Luka tried to do that triple-double magic. Porzingis had a bad shooting game. Okay. So kind of just looking at the stats here. So we were not good that game. We lost by 2. We only lost by 2. And then we lost by 6 to the Sixers. Uh, who struggled this game. Doncic wasn't amazing. Uh, Nurkic 1-6. 1-5 of of Bogdanovich. Okay. Clink Bell didn't score either. He put up a donut. Uh, so there we go. We are currently at 2 losses right now. But, uh, okay, we're starting to catch Ws, though. 9-2, and 10-2. and two. So, I'm curious to see how good this European team is going to be. We did lose to the Lakers here by 5 points. Uh, LeBron James gave us that work. Uh, Dennis Schroeder could have been on the team, but he wasn't good enough, unfortunately. Uh, 
and I'm just kind of just looking at everybody. Yeah, Giannis, not the best shooting performance. Also, four turnovers. Dodge, four turnovers. Uh, Singoon and Valentinus didn't score, or, well, they just didn't make a field goal. So there's that. Let's keep going. But yeah, I mean, one thing I will say, a lot of international talent, guys, whether they be coming over across, you know, uh, the nation, right? If they come across, let's say, from different countries, you know, to go to school in the U.S. and then to go to the NBA, there's just, just an influx of talent on, you know, coming from across the world in the United States, and then just other than the United States. So it's definitely, be, you know, NBA is becoming a global game, and I'm actually really curious to see if, if any countries will one day perhaps eclipse the United States because the way that they do things, you know, not just in basketball, but like soccer, for example, or football, if you want to call it that, <clears throat> you know, you got these guys that are going into these youth camps for these club teams at such young ages and they're getting professional training and, you know, their whole entire life, like they're training to become a professional footballer or soccer player, or whatever you want to call it. And that's not really exactly how it works in the United States. I mean, it's starting to go that way a little bit with basketball because you guys, you're now starting to see a lot of these guys, you know, skipping uh, school and going to the G League, maybe becoming professionals a little bit earlier than they would be, uh, or going overseas as, as, or, you know, just training or whatever, G League Ignite, other, you know, other certain leagues. You know, it's, it college is not... A foregone conclusion where somebody will decide to you know do a one done right like there are a lot of different options that these these players are gonna have like coming into the season you know seasons ahead yeah it's insane I mean maybe one day we'll see you know I know like at the MLB sometimes like you get these guys that are like 16 years old that you sign like you sign these 16 year olds like to these peanut league deals uh, in the MLB, and uh, I mean that's another thing. I mean, and then they just, they just in the in the Caribbean and all that, they just play, man. They just play. They just play. They just play baseball, man. I mean, and then again, like soccer, it, it's definitely more organized though in the, in the soccer thing. So I'm wondering if basketball is going to be trending in that direction, especially in the United States or just any sport really in general. Uh, but yeah, so far though, just going back to this. Uh, uh, team yet only six losses so far for this uh, top 10 European team and that's actually kind of surprising uh, this team is definitely better than I thought it would be uh, if I'm being quite honest with you I did not think that this team would be this good like are we gonna win 70 games we lost to the Hawks there uh, by seven, uh, four points a lot of our losses have been close too so guys if they had better shooting performances you know maybe just maybe could have been you know, good enough, but are we going to break the all-time record here? I mean, we eclipsed 70 wins, and yeah, we are 75-7, and seven, and we actually had an MVP. Luka Doncic somehow was still able to manage winning an MVP on this team. That is how good Luka Doncic is. He's so good that it doesn't matter who else is on his team. This dude literally still averaged 29.5, 8 rebounds, 11 assists, and shot 54% from the field, 47% from three. Dude's unbelievable, man. Literally unbelievable. And also, too, by the way, in terms of international talent, like, we have Victor Wembanyama coming into the league, too. Like, it, it's insane. It's really insane. But uh, also, too, Giannis made All-NBA first team as well. Even with all these guys on the squad, they still made All-NBA first team. And Jokic made second team. I mean, he put up good numbers, too. Like, wow. It's incredible. Even with all this talent on the squad, like, those guys still ended up making all NBA teams. That's pretty insane. Um, Giannis was all defensive first team still. Uh, wow. Great. 75-7. and seven. So, this team could win a championship. This could be one of the better teams. Like, the sneaky good teams. If they win a championship. They gotta win a championship. Royal Langford, why is he playing? Why is he playing? Why is he getting playing time? He's not supposed to be playing. Like 17 games, no. No, no, no. It's supposed to be Singoon. So, coach change. Freaking Popovich changed up my lineup. Ugh, you fucking bastard. Alright, well, we gotta do it like this. So, Romeo Langford is not getting minutes. Um, I don't know how my lineup got changed, but Romeo Langford, you are.
getting on the bench. Maybe he actually, maybe he did get PT because I did adjust rotations. Uh, we'll give Capella eight, 18 minutes, 20 to go bare. Uh, we'll give Jokic 34. We'll give Porzingis 28. We'll give 34 to Giannis. Bogdanovich will get 24. No, we'll give Bogdanovich 26. We have Luka Doncic, 36, 36 to Giannis, 35 to Jokic. There we go. Let's take a look at the stats and see what we got going on over here. Player stats who led the way. So obviously uh, Doncic with three guys average at least 20. Porzingis was our fourth guy, then Bogdanovich. Uh, okay, yeah, so it looks like Langford just got PT because, you know, foul trouble, which is fine. Rebounding-wise, it was Giannis, y Doncic, and then Jokic, which makes sense. And then pretty much Doncic, Jokic, and Antetokounmpo. Same order. Uh, well, same three guys. Same three guys at least to steal a game. Block shots, though. Giannis, for Gobert, Porzingis, so that's a little bit different. Efficiency-wise, Capella, Gobert, and then Jokic, uh, in terms of three-point shooting, uh, who was our good th best three-point shooter? That would be Luka Doncic, who was pretty good, and then our best free-throw shooter was Bogdanovich. So there you go, a lot of itch. Itch and ass. I don't know. Either way, so we're the play-in. We're taking on the eight-seeded OKC, OKC Thunder. This team should be able to beat them, and we do in six. Okay, a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble here that Thunder gave us. Josh Giddy is from Australia, so Australia doesn't count as Europe, obviously. It's its own continent. But that would be interesting. What if we did region-based rebuilds or region-based teams? So, like, for example, we broke up the NBA based on... Uh, like region in the United States, and then we did, you know, like countries. So then Canada team, uh, an Australia team, uh, like a Europe team maybe, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, could do something like that. That'd be very interesting. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. And we could maybe also decrease the team limit. I think the team amount of teams we have, I think we could go down as low as like 16 if we needed to. So that would be very interesting. Comment down below if you want to see a video idea like that. Because I am definitely down to do that. Region-based rebuilds or which region could win the NBA championship, which region is the best. That'd be cool. So, uh, uh, what were they looking at? Yeah, they got us in game, this game here, and then this game here. Okay, we'll just see about the round. Here we go, Golden State. And, ooh, they almost beat us in seven. Okay, this team might, this team might choke in the playoffs. Pelicans. Okay, swept the Pelicans. We're in the finals to take on Embiid and the Sixers. Luka Magic. Game one. It's a Spurs victory. Game two. It's a Spurs victory. Game three. Okay, Spurs are going to sweep. No. Going to win in five. Yes. So, a little bit of some, a little bit of scares, though, I will say. Luka Dodgers for the finals MVP. A little bit of scares, though, I will say, in some, in some of these playoff series. But, honestly, the team was pretty solid. I got I to gotta give it to them. They were definitely one of the better teams. So, can't go 82-0, but definitely can win a championship. Let's take a look at the playoff stats really quickly, just to double-check who did what. So obviously, you can see Doncic would delay, then Giannis and Jokic. Fantastic stuff there, rebounding-wise, facilitation-wise, steals, uh, field goal percentage, and then we had uh, three-point percentage, as you can see, and then free-throw percentage as well. So... Cool stuff there. Let's go to the full screen and close out the video. All right, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Did like and subscribe. Comment down below some of my videos, socials, playlists, second channel, main channel, down below description as well if you like other content, TJP. A lot of people have been liking these uh, 82 and 0 videos, so that's why I've been uploading them a lot recently. And we're going to keep it up. I mean, if you guys like this kind of content, I'm definitely going to keep putting it out there. I just got to think of more ideas, and I have some more ideas. I don't want to just do this, and I don't want to just do 2K. I'm not just a 2K person. I've been doing a lot of 2K recently, but I also do other sports games. It's usually seasonal, so be on the lookout for that as well. I just want to make sure those that are new that are coming in that have this will be watching the video at this point, but probably not. Most of you already clicked off at this point. But anyways, if you haven't clicked off, uh, thank you. All right, I'm done. Peace.